Hi, I'm Andrew Armstrong, and welcome to the Back Office Teardown Lab. This will probably be a relatively quick video because I don't think I'm going to be able to tear this down. But I wanted to show you this. Somebody gave me this. This was given to me at an airport, of all places. Um, I was outside, and basically the person was told they were not allowed to bring this onto the flight. So I said, they off well, they offered it to me, and I said, absolutely, absolutely, positively, I will take this. Uh, because I guess it was in their hand luggage, not their check luggage, and they couldn't be bothered. Now, this, for all intents and purposes, looks totally brand new. It's obviously not in a packet, but it really has not been used. And you're thinking, Andrew, why are you compelled to do a video about a screwdriver? Um, are you desperate for content? Yes, maybe. Oh, I think I might just found a new feature, by the way. Um, but I really am, am enamoured with this uh, joyst joystick. <laughs> I'm losing my mind! This uh, screwdriver. Um, I'll just show you some of the features it has. It has a nice retention system. It has a ratchet. And check this out. Push the handle. Bing! That reminds me of that thing in Jurassic Park. That's probably why I like it so much. It's because it's like Dennis Nedry's Jurassic Park thing. But look at this. Also, it's magnetic. You have to see this. It's not some horrible clip. It's actually using the power of magnetized metals to lock itself in, which is extra cool, right? So um, you withdraw your, your bit and it does have a selection. In fact, let's just whip them out real quick to see what they are. They all are flavors. Interestingly enough, these are all flavours of Philips and PosiDrive heads, so uh, that's a little bit unusual in itself, isn't it? I don't know if that was a custom fill. And they're all marked. They're all marked with this Witter. Wit? I want to say Witter. And they all would Witter Germany on them. And uh, anyway, I'm not going to read the numbers off because they're all jiggling around annoyingly. But yeah, they basically feel really good. They look really nice. They remind me of the DeWalt bit. I bought years ago. I've literally got a set of DeWalt screwdriver bits that came uh, with the bits and a little chuck extension for your DeWalt screwdriver. And I promise you, I'm still using the same uh, set of bits over 10 years now, easily, over well over 10 years for sure. Um, so yeah, if you get quality bits, they'll last you a long time. And uh, I always think the quality bits have this little notch in them. You might see that notch, but I kind of feel even the cheap bits probably have the notch, but you'll know it when you feel them. When you get something quality, you'll know it when you feel it. They'll last you forever, just basically get them. Now I'm gonna push it in, you can see it won't go in. It's definitely got a detent ratchet. Oh, look at that. I said detent ratchet, a little detent ball. And I'm gonna look inside, see how they're doing it. Yes, oh my, my, oh my giddy giddy gun drops. It really is, if it'll focus on there, do you see it? You can just about see it, an actual detent ball. Woohoo! I really wasn't expecting that. And that's engaging with one of these little corner notches. That is not going to come out in a hurry. My word. Mm -mm -mm. Right. So that's one feature. <laughs> one feature. Two features. Right. Uh, you do have uh, this ratchet mechanism. Don't confuse this. This is the trigger for your popping out. The ratchet mechanism is a twist. A little twist. And uh, that in itself isn't so unusual. Um, I, did, I did seem... No, I thought of, I thought this did pull out a little bit earlier, but let's forget about that. So when you put it into the ratchet mode, check this out, this action. Oh yeah. Look at that. It's feather light. It's absolutely feather light ratchet. And you know that problem sometimes when you're trying to use a ratchet and the screw isn't quite in, the screw's loose and it starts unwinding as you're trying to torque it up. This is unlikely to happen with this. And actually, even if it does, look, you've got this slip collar here on the end. See, that's a slip collar. You can just hold it by that. And even if you look, gently put some pressure on the shaft while you're doing it, that's gonna help you an awful lot. Um, I'm just gonna push this. Yeah, look, this does seem to come in and out one chunk. I don't know if that is doing anything, to be honest with you. So let's try it in a mode. No, I don't, think, I don't think it's a feature, but you know, again, I don't know. You'd have to, if you've got a manual, let me know. So I think that's probably be a, a, about as much as we'd want to express about this tool. But yeah, it's good. I don't know how much it is, by the way. It feels like it's expensive, but I suspect 
If you need a screwdriver and you're tired of buying lots of cheap ones and you want something that's going to last you a long time um, and you don't have the need for a very thin end, you know, of course, you always need those long, thin screwdrivers if you're trying to undo your Sony radio or something. But if you uh, have use cases for this type, um, that could be the one for you. And of course, you can get little sockets little socket adapters to adapt onto that too, you know, like 1 8th or 1 16th or whatever socket, whatever they are. Um, yeah, so yeah, I'll, if I find a link, I'll put it down below. Um, and if you've got any experience with this brand, yeah, please let me know what your views on it. Are they uh, basically a good brand or not? Hopefully that's been of some use to you as ever. Thank you for watching. I just discovered it has another feature. In addition to the magnets at the base, it has a magnet in the end. Woohoo!